Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, I'll go over how to share targets on the TSD using the target report function and the radio frequency handoff or RFHO function on the SCR page. Targets can be transmitted from FCR equipped AH64D to other AH64Ds regardless of whether they're equipped with an SCR. For all FCR data link communications, it will initially be regarding multiplayer. Now, once FCR and data link are final, we'll then add this to AI primary members. Let's get started. Okay, so before we start talking about sending and receiving target reports, I'm going to set up my aircraft a little bit. So, zooming into the uh, TSD, I'm going to bring the video brightness down to about the 9 o'clock position to make things a little more readable. I'm going to change my range scale from 25 down to 10. And on the phase, I'm going to go from nav to attack. Uh, that way I can see those shot markers as well as uh, being able to see more than just the 16 priority targets. Let's arm up the aircraft. And now let's make the uh, fire control radar or the FCR my sight by going left on the site select switch. And while we're here, I'm going to bring up the weapon page and go to missiles. And on the left side, we have the missile power options. And you can see that it defaults to auto. But I'm going to select all. That way, I'm going to power up all of these Hellfires right now. Because uh, later in this video, I'm going to be ripple firing quite a bit of them. And this way, by having them all powered now, we're not going to have any delay later of uh, powering up additional Hellfires. Let's go back to the SCR. And let's do a single burst scan and see what's out there. Okay, nice array of targets. And I'm going to move my cursor to TSD and zoom back in and first I'm going to create a couple priority fire zones or PSEs uh, one for me and one for uh, Chaos 2 who's flying with me today so just like we uh, saw in the earlier video on zones I'm going to go to the battle area management page or BAM you can see the type is a PF priority fire zone and I'm going to make a box around all these targets Okay, and because there are two aircraft in our flight, it defaulted the number of zones to two. So we have PF1 on the left and the PF2 on the right. So let's go ahead and do an assignment with me on the right and Chaos2 on the left. So assign goes to PF1, which is going to be Chaos2. So I'm going to select C2. Then it went to Priority Fire Zone 2, which is going to be me. So I'm going to select Own. Now I'm going to send these over to Chaos 2 so he has these as well. And let's come back out. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be assigning uh, targets to Chaos 2 and PSC 1. So I'm going to make that my active zone. So right now the active zone is none. I'm going to set that to PF1. You can see that animated. And we can also see that here on the SCR page. Okay, coming back out of the BAM. And now we're going to talk about reports. So reports, target reports, TGT. And we have two options here. We have all and pry. I can select pry and then select the recipient who has going to be a primary member and hit send. And that recipient or recipients will receive my 16 priority targets. Or I can do the same thing with all. It'll send all of my targets. If I don't have either selected, I can individually send targets. That's what I'll do here. So within the active zone, I'll select this wheel vehicle here with the cursor, press and release, selected, and now hit send to Chaos 2. Come back out. Now in addition to sending, I can also receive target reports. Uh, so Chaos 2, send me a report please for your primaries. <whistles> Received. Now it's important to remember that when I receive these targets from Chaos 2, it's going to re replace my target library. So, received FCR target report from Chaos 2, and that's updated now. But if I were to go ahead and do another scan, say a single burst scan, we'll throw away that report and replace these targets with what my radar just saw. So, that's how you send and receive target reports. 
Now, in addition to the target reports, we also have the radio frequency handover option on the SCR. Let's take a look at that. Uh, first, I'm going to move my cursor back over from the TSD to the FCR. And let's zoom in and take a closer look. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our cursor to place over a target that we're going to hand over to one of our primary members, in this case, Chaos 2. So I have the cursor over a wheel vehicle. I'll press in release to select it. You can see it's our NTS now. I'll select radio frequency handover, RFHO. I'll select C2, Chaos 2 to send it to, and send. And what's going to happen now is uh, Chaos 2 will receive a received message on his TSD that he will accept. He'll set the FCR as his site. He'll action the Hellfire, and then he'll fire. And there it goes. What's cool here is in addition to radar hellfires, you can also use this to engage targets with guns and rockets. And also, even if he doesn't have a fire control radar, he can still do this. So while we're here, let's have him engage three additional targets in rapid succession. So first, select another one. Select RPHO, C2, and send. Select. RFHO, C2, and send, and one more. Select RFHO, C2, and send, and we'll see how fast it can engage. One, two, three. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, now, in addition to sending targets to primary members, we can also receive targets. So, uh, Chaos 2, send me a single target uh, within my PSE. Okay, so we heard that ringtone indicating an incoming data link. We have RHFO up on the EFD. We see the receive function uh, message on the TSD, so we're going to select that and select that message and replaces our library with this ADU in it. And we've already got it locked up, you can see on the FCR the missile is actioned and all we have to do now is hold down the trigger and he'll fire away. So let's do this a little bit more. So uh, Chaos 2, send me three more targets. So see those uh, three rings, we've got three targets from him. So receive, accept, launch. Receive, accept, Launch, receive, accept, launch. As fast as that. So for giggles, uh, Chaos 2, send me your uh, BDA. Received, accepted. And now we can see, we talked about this in an earlier video. We can see uh, full brightness X's, uh, shot markers for us and lower density shot markers from the data link, in this case, from Chaos 2. Actually, we'll do another scan to remove his library and replace it with ours based on what our FCR is seeing. On a final note, we can also use target reports to send targets between primary members. So for instance, you could have one member send another member a target report and then the receiving member used the CAC function to designate the target, set it as an acquisition source, and then be able to uh, set the site as TAS, and then slave the TAS to that target to visually inspect it. So let's take a look at this in action. Uh, Chaos 2, send me a single target in my PSC to attack. So we see up on the EFD, we have an SCR target report. We have a reception indication on the TSD. Select that. We have SCR target from Chaos 2. Select that. And now we see that we have a single ADU unit in my PSC. So we're going to select the CAC function, move the cursor over that unit, select it. Now we see the acquisition source is T50. We can see the site is currently FCR. So let's go right on the site select switch to make that TADS. Now hit the slave button, and now we slaved to that unit, 
that Chaos 2 sent us. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this little video on sending and receiving targets, and I will see you next time. Thanks.